Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and as I promised today I'm going to post how to bubble everything at your camp. So I will also tell you guys why you would like to have everything bubble. But first thing that I need to tell you is that you have to do it at your own risk because sometimes you might have a problem with that, you might have lose some kind of object and the support game probably won't help you at that. I never had a object lost, but it can happen, okay? So, first thing, there are many ways to bubble and I'm going to show you guys the ones that are better. So, as you guys can see, I already have my camp full and the dragons are telling me that I need more space. So, we have only these two spaces over here and when the camp is basically full, they will not harvest anything until you have more. There you go, he say need more space. Harvest anything else until you have at least three spaces, okay? So, first way to bubble. Let's say you want to have a life essence bubblet and you have a life flower here. So, you just ask a dragon to harvest. Let's wait until I'm coming. And as you guys can see, he won't move because the camp is full. And you just touch him and he will let the object beam bubble. It works at other kind of objects. Like for example, if I ask the dragon to harvest a stone over here. Let's wait until he harvests. He is almost finishing. And here, there you go, he just got a stone, and if we touch him, we can have it bubbled, okay? So here we have two objects bubble, and this is the first way, okay? So the next way, and also is a good trick, as you guys can see, I have six of the toadstool dragon egg. I can merge this 5, I always want to make a 5 merge and I don't want to make a 6 merge but there is going to be one left over and I don't want to have it so what can I do? I will pretend to merge, I will not merge it okay, just take the egg, pretend to merge it and click at the top left bottom where it says to you to go to the world map and let's click it And now it's saying flying to the world map. Now you can take your finger out of the screen and you can go back at the camp. The object that you were pretending to, to merge will be bubbled. So let's wait a second until it gets in. Another thing that I need to tell you guys is that the more objects that you have in your camp, be not it's going to be the time that you you will need to go inside your camp to load everything so since i have a lot of bubble objects this takes me way more time than you guys so let's keep waiting i don't want to to make a cut so you guys can see it there we go and the object has been bubbled here we go we've got now one of the tools to deck bubbled here now you can make a five merge of it and you will have no leftovers now let's go for the next one let's fill the camp with life essence i do prefer to always fill the camp with life essence because after bubbling everything you can just merge them and pop them and your camp will be empty let me Pop that one. Let me see. Let me ask the dragons to drop them. Excuse me, sirs. I don't want you to harvest that. So now the camp is full. As you guys can see, they cannot drop it and they are bubbling. Let me just move this life essence here. 
and you might also be asking can I um, try do that with this 3x you can but you need to make a config at your mobile as you guys can see I cannot merge this so what you need to do is allow to to make a tree merge let's go outside the camp and let me show you guys the config Uh, the reason that my config is not letting me merge 3x it's because I always want to make a 5 merge so at the bottom you can see the gear you click at that and do you guys can see prefer dragon 5 merges it's on this is why it's not letting me make a 3 merge so if you turn off and confirm you go inside your camp let me Pause until we get there now. Now that we are inside and made the config, you guys can see that I can merge this tree. Of course I won't, I will be doing the same trick. Let's hit the top left button to go outside the camp. This kind of trick when you pretend to merge tree, don't need to have the camp full. So if you guys don't want to fill your camp, you just pretend to merge three. Let's wait until we get inside. And here we have it, bublet. Don't forget to change the config again, so you are allowed to only make five merges, okay? So the next one, let's ask the dragon to fill the camp. This one needs to be filled, so drop this for me, thank you. Now you guys are going to see that objects, they do have different sizes. As you guys can see, there is one that is 3x3, three 2x2, three, two two, another 2x2, two two, and one that is 1x2. And this works also if it is in the other direction. So what you want to do is drop one object in the, the other one. For this one thing that you guys have to be in mind that as you guys can see there are two spaces here that it's exactly the same uh, the same size of this one if I just try to drop an object here it will just move so you have to be in a way that it's not the same size so now if I drop this object here it will be bubbling as you guys can see so this is a one by two Let's make another one here, that is a 2x2, two two. there we go, and we can also merge, merge not, bubble this one, because there is no, no one space in the same shape, and we can also bubble this 3x3. Three three. So this is the, well, another way, and now let me fill the camp and show you guys another way, so you can take all the objects from the camp okay let me fill the camp I will be harvesting this give me a second so I have just filled all my map with the life essence I do prefer to do that because it's very fast to to harvest the blue life flower and also because we can merge the, the life essence if we want to fill all the space and now the way that we are going to do is call it Marcus V Technique. This I learned from Tessy Game Boutique. And if you guys don't know her, go check her channel. And how this is works, as you guys can see, there are two spaces here that are empty. And the dragons won't harvesting anything else. I will be asking them to harvest here. So now that the dragons are holding an object, I will pretend to merge a mergeable 2x2 two two object. It can be the golden apple of the cosmos, it can be other kind of objects, for example, the living stones that are 2x2, two two. it could be also the mountains over here, the hills that are 2x2, two two. anything that is 2x2 two two, that is mergeable, okay? So what we are going to do now is to pretend to merge these three objects and when we are going to do that we don't don't let it merge 
we will wait until the dragons to drop all the objects. They will drop in at four spaces and will let, leave two empty spaces. And then we are going to drop the apple that we are pretending to merge in the two objects that we want to bubble. And these two objects are going to be the ones to the right. So let's pretend to merge. They need to drop two more objects. One and two. Now they will not drop anything else and you can drop the big apple and bubble the two at the right. So as you guys can see it worked. So you bring back the apple again and pretend to merge once again. They will drop two more objects and you can keep doing that until you empty all your camp. Let's do it one more time. And here we have it. So let me clean all my camp. Just give me a second. Now you guys can see that I have bubble almost everything. I did not bubble my trophies and stuff like that, but you can bubble them. And now we can keep bubbling also the, the flowers if you want. So let's say you want to bubble all these five flowers. You just ask the dragons to harvest. And then you put the flowers in the place that you want to, to bubble. And you can ask for more dragons if you have more flowers of that. The same number you need to, to bubble, and you pretend to bubble that. Wait until the dragons drop two objects. That's one. And that's two. And then you bubble the flowers also. So after you bubble everything, you can just merge the live essence and pop them or sell them if you want. So I also want to share you guys another trick. And if, by example, you guys can see that I have a level chest over here that you got from here, you click collect and it goes to your camp at the floor. But if you collect it when you are outside the camp, it will come bubbled and saying level chest. And also, after bubbling everything, you still might want to, to bubble the apples. Just do the trick that I told you guys when it's more than one by one. Just drop the live essence at them and then we will be bubbling, bubbled. So as you guys can see, we will have a lot of space to work at your camp. So why do you want to bubble everything? It's because sometimes you want to work at only one chain. Like for example, you just want to work at the, I don't know, dragon tree chain. And this way you can put only the dragon, tree, dragon trees at the camp and the dragons will harvest only the dragon, dragon tree. It won't be harvesting a rock, a stone, a coin, anything else, a fruit and will be messing your camp. So it's always better if you can focus your harvest at the chain that you want. You will get it way more faster. So I hope you guys have, in, have uh, enjoyed this video. I hope that I could work, I don't know, maybe you guys can do it way faster now the focus of your object. And I also want to tell you guys that this kind of trick works at events. You can pretend to merge three objects and hit the button at top left that it's an arrow and then you click with the another finger to go to the world map but don't uh, don't take your finger out of the screen until you get outside the camp and if you have an object two by one at the least you can drop something after you fill in the camp and I would ask you guys if you like this video hit the like button and support me by subscribing and I see you guys in the next video okay so I hope you guys have a lot of space to work now see you guys in the next video